Hello Tourist, welcome to the Power Automate Forums. I thought I would just show you how to convert your HTML table to JSON with a video instead of posting a solution because you might find it easier to understand all the concepts. So I'm just going to take your HTML and put it into a compose action. I'm going to rename this HTML. I'll paste that in. So the first step I am going to do is a HTML to text conversion. And remove this stuff and put in the dynamic content of the HTML. And just have a look how that looks <clears throat> and some of the problems that this HTML to text conversion can give you. So as we can see, it's converted it to plain text fine, but it is quite difficult to figure out where each row ends and when each cell ends. So we've got the headers there, but they're only delimited by a space before it moves straight into the data. So that is going to make things a little bit tricky. And there's also no way of ending knowing where each cell ends. For example, this roll number is one cell, but if we split that on a space, we would get two. So what I'm going to do is add another compose step here. And I am going to say replace dynamic content of HTML. And I'm going to replace TD, which is the end of a cell, with a little caret symbol, because that doesn't appear anywhere else, and TD. And then here, I'm going to change the dynamic content. I'm going to rename this to so HTML, uh, HTML, limited. I'm going to put in the, the dynamic content of that action into the HTML to text preview. So let's now have a look at that. Okay, so now we can see where each cell ends. These ones end, these are THs, not um, TDs, so that's why they begin here. So now we can see where each cell ends, but we can't see where each row ends. So what I am going to do is take this replace expression and put another replace around it. And I am going to replace forward slash TR with something like um, a pipe symbol and then forward slash TR. So we're replacing the TDs and we're replacing the TRs. So let's see what that looks like now. Okay, so we've got a delimiter for each row and a delimiter for each cell. So now we've got something that we can probably work with. So let's now do a compose action. I'm going to call this rows. I'm going to say split the output of HTML to text on a pipe symbol. And hopefully this should give us every row as a unique element. So we've got the headers and then each line. We've also got some um, new lines in here which we need to get rid of, control characters. So um, let's just do that now. I'm going to add an action here. I'm going to call that compose. I'm just going to put a 
press the return key, I'm going to call that new line. And then I'm going to go down to here, and I'm going to replace this. I'm going to say replace outputs new line HTML to text. Put a comma. Put my dynamic content. I'm going to do new line. And then replace it with nothing. So that should clear out those new line characters. Okay, so we've got no new lines now. There is some spacing, but we'll sort that out in a second. Now, this isn't part of the data, it's the header. So we don't want that. So I'm going to change this statement again. I'm going to say skip and do comma one. So skip will allow you to move past certain elements of an array. So if we look now, now we're just down to the data delimited by the carrots because this was our output here. So this would have been the zero element of our array. So we're skipping one just to get down to here. So now we have got something that we can work with. This array here, it's unfortunate that it's got this new line at the end, but we can sort that as well. Um, so we'll do that now. Say filter. I'm going to filter an array, and the array to filter will be rows. And we'll say length item. And then we'll say is greater than zero. Let's have a look. Okay, so now we are just down to the data. So we can use this in a select action. So we'll go to, let's just see. What I'm just gonna do is so you can see is I am just going to, we're not going to use this, but just to help you understand, I'm going to do compose, I'm going to do split, and then I'm going to do first, filter array, and we'll split that on a carrot. And we should be able to see the elements of that array. The split is going to create us another array. Here we are. We've got our one, two, three, four parts of the array and the fifth one, which we don't need. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, there's this one at the end. Okay, so let's go into a select action. And the um, source for this is going to be the filter array. And then the map, I forgot what the uh, columns are called. Roll number. And you know what, I need to see, um, let's go delete this. Okay. So, we we'll have our select action. Then we'll put our filter array there. And then it's going to be roll number. And here we are going to do split item on a carrot. And we want the first element of that. So we'll say zero. And then let's have a look at the next one, which is name. This time we will take 
the first element, a uh, second element, which will be number one. Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to test that this actually works with just a couple of records. Let's have a look. So we got out 101, 102, 103. Now you can see they all had a space here, which you need to get rid of. So let's do that now. I'm just going to do this on all of them. I'm just going to do trim item zero. And then go delete this one. We'll put one, one. See what the next column is marks and city. Marks, put an expression zero, one, two. And then we'll go city. Save that. Let's have a look now. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. And I think that is what you want. So see how you get on building that and um, let me know if you get stuck. Cheers, bye bye.